what is the internet? It is the biggest network on earth that connects all the electronic devices in the world together. And why do we need the internet? We need it to get information, period. We need to get information we need right now without having elsewhere to get it and quickly. Now when you think about it that way, think about your online purchases. Don't you think you need the same thing when you order something online to get it like in the same day? Well, I do. And so does a lot of huge corporations around the world and governments. When I say the word drones, a lot of people think about military drones. Some people imagine a video where a drone is shooting some missiles in a third world country. Hollywood and the media have done a really good job spreading these ideas. Well, these are not the drones I'm here to talk about today. Actually, the drones I'm here to talk about today can't fire anything, not even water balloons, which is cool if you think about it. I'm going to tell you about a few examples where using drones is a game changer. In the US, let's assume that 20% of licensed drivers go every month to the pharmacy to get their prescribed medication. Assuming that the distance between their house and the pharmacy is one mile only, this process every month take $9.6 million for gasoline and causes the emission of 25 trillion, 493 billion grams of CO2. That's an 11 figures number. Compare that to using a drone to transfer medication where all these numbers comes to zero. Think about it that way. You're in your job, doing your work, and you're living in a big city, just like Chicago, where roads are usually always congested. You get a call from your wife saying she needs you to come back immediately with painkillers because she's having a terrible migraines headache. You need at least, if you're lucky, 90 minutes to go to the pharmacy, get the medication, and come back. A drone can do that in 15 minutes or less while you're already driving your way back to the home. This is a picture from China. There are two mountains across each other, and this is the only way for people to go from one to another. You can see from this image how much safety measurements aren't there. <laughs> these people depend on weight to move this thing from one mountain to another. If these people had drones, a drone in one minute, just one minute, can reach mountain to another and deliver there are packages, light packages. What about third world countries? Some countries in Africa have roads filled with mud. They don't even have asphalt for cars to drive on. And they have to walk really miles back and forth on these muddy roads to go to places where there are schools, medication, groceries. Some countries in the Middle East, it's not even safe to leave the house. Everywhere, like in Syria, I was there, and I lived there, and I've seen how the situation has become. Every place there is a potential target for a bombing or a fire attack. This is a picture from my hometown, Homs, Syria. This is a very famous, it's called the Old Square, the Old Clock Square, and this is one of the most crowded places in the city. You can see the picture on the left how crowded it is. This is the one on the right shows you how it became yesterday, today. Now, would you dare to walk in a place like this if you want to leave the house and get your medication? Nobody does. Nobody should go through all of this to, and risk their lives to get medication. And this is why we have to use drones. Now, we are moving toward a world of package delivery drones. That's certain. Having this technology with big corporations like Amazon, FedEx, UPS, is really important. It will save time, it will save money, it will save traffic, and will also reduce pollution. But what not a lot of people are aware of, that if we give this power to organizations like the Red Cross and Doctors Without Borders, then in this case, using drones is not only saving lives, but it's also improving the quality of life globally. And it's not hard to do that. I'm not just talking about some good ideas for the future to happen. I'm talking about right now. We are already building this. 
As a matter of fact, in two months, we'll be able to, we'll finish our first prototype. It will be able two to three feet long. It will be able to carry light weights up to one kilogram. It will be able to identify the right person to deliver the package to. And it will be smart enough to do all of this by itself. The good things about these drones are, is their flexibility. For example, corporations like Amazon will need drones who can drive for long distances and carry relatively heavy weights. Where pharmacies like CVS need drones that can fly faster but carrying lighter weights. Every, we can build these drones to do its best in whatever environment they're called into. We can show you two examples of drones that are already built. This is the Amazon drone. They say that in four or five years, they're going to start using these drones to deliver the packages to the customers. This is the drone used in the United Arab Emirates. This is a drone that's flied by remote control, and the United Arab Emirates are paying a lot of money to people to make autopilot drones. Now, do you, think, do you still think this is a dream or science fiction? Now, if drones are so important, and they can do us a huge help. Then why are we not using them right now? What is holding us back? The first and the biggest challenge is the law. In the US, like in many other countries, using drones is prohibited. The only people allowed to use drones in the US are the law enforcement. If you want to use drones for commercial reasons, that's not allowed. And if you want to use a drone for your personal reasons, you can do that as long as you stay in your line of sight, which basically we, you can't deliver packages then because you can't always keep it in your line of sight. Once this law is changed, the US is actually moving toward allowing drones in the future. But the thing is, the United Arab Emirates already crossed this, and they're, as I said, paying millions of dollars to get these drones used in one year or less. If the law stays like this in the US, then the United Arab Emirates will cross the finish line before the US does. The second big challenge is safety. Now, these drones don't have weapons, but there is a chance if they fall from the sky on somebody, or if they're flying through and hit a citizen, it will hurt them. The good side about this challenge is it's solvable by technology. These drones will have a smart network of sensors all over them that can detect any obstacles from a very far distance, at least 50 meters. I really can't wait until the US allows using drones. I imagine this idea. It's my friend's birthday, and I'm scrolling down my newsfeed on Facebook, and it shows me that today's my friend's birthday. Usually under their name, it shows you an option in the United States, send them a gift card, a Starbucks gift card, or an iTunes gift card. I want to see something like this. Send him a drone carrying his favorite box of chocolate, or whatever your friend wants. This thing will become real in the future. Now I want you to ask yourself, what is the definition of an infinite impact idea? You know, every now and then, a new technology comes out and changes everything. When Google was invented in Stanford, the procedure of seeking information was changed forever. When Steve Jobs presented the first iPhone back in 2007, he changed the world. He revolutionized the industry of mobile phones forever. When Mark Zuckerberg invented Facebook, which later became the most popular social network on the planet, he redefined the definition of human communication forever. Now, we, we might didn't know that these Invention is going to happen, or maybe they did, but we didn't expect them to happen so close. We expect them like, to happen very far in the future. I'm here to tell you today, let's not do that again. I'm not talking about science fiction, neither about the future. I'm talking about right now, and the drones will happen tomorrow. This is the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>